Hi everyone, it's Penny. How are you today on this beautiful Friday of January the 10th, 2020? I was not supposed to make a video, <clears throat> excuse me, today. I came upstairs because I was printing a manual and I just started straightening up. So I said, might as well do the yarn haul part two. So uh, I'm trying to keep my face out of this as much as possible. Okay, everyone. First off, I know when I went to Joanne's doing a yarn enormous sale that you really didn't get a good look at the winter nights and they this is a blanca color you really didn't get a good look of it and just let me give you some specs on it i forgot to tell calvin i was making a video so you may hear somebody scream sweetheart <clears throat> 186 yards 65% acrylic, 35% polyester, a brand of Lion Brand, a medium four, a knit needle five, crochet hook, 5.5. And this color, Empowerment. Empowerment. <laughs> I tell you. That's a hard job to come up with these colors. That's pretty. And then the last color. Beautiful. <laughs> I think they are watching my videos, picking up my beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Really nice. I think this would make a nice top. Scarf, sure. Yep, so I need to collect some more of these colors. I brought two of each of the colors. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, Lion Brand do have a couple of new yarns. If you want to go on site, just take a look at it. In case you're in the store, you can look at it and see if they're carrying it. Before I move on, I always want to say thank you for all the suggestion with the for the knitting things I can do to improve my knitting. I appreciate that, and thank you for watching that yarn organization. I almost got three thousand views on that, and that is outstanding. That's up there with the yarn giveaway. So I normally don't get views that high. I'm usually um, seventeen hundred max. And that one really took off. So that tells me a lot about my viewers. They just don't only care about yarn. They care about how to organize their yarns and, and, and other things that we will be discussing soon. So I appreciate all the shares on that. And thinking about shares, I received my report yesterday and from... YouTube, we are doing well. We just need a little bit more thumbs up. We do great with sharing, but we can improve on that. And the viewership is excellent and progressing. I want to talk about um, several people being hacked. So I know a couple of things about that. If you have a channel and YouTube sends you out your monthly report, it will show on one page. You won't have a link or anything to get your report. Once you open it, all your information is there. I should have printed my report out so you can see, but it's right there. So if you get anything from YouTube and they ask, them, ask you to contact them, please contact them um, through a clean page made on one of your, however you uh, research, Safari, Google, 
um, however you research, co contact them through that. Do not contact them through the link that's provided on the page. And another thing you have to start doing, if you haven't already, you have to start backing up your videos. Because if you're a hack, they're going to take everything from you and you're not going to have any videos. So you're going to have to start all over from zero. And that including myself. So start, <clears throat> start backing up your videos. So in case, even if YouTube crash and go down, at least you still have your information. You can't rely on a company to not lose the contents because they get hacked as well. Um, they saying it's prevalent, the hacking among people who are monetized. I'm not monetized at this moment because I feel that my, my subscriber count is low and I would like to build that up before I put any type of ads on my page. So hopefully in the near future, I can do that. But as of now, and I'm too small and, um, I can wait a little longer. So I hope you would take those suggestions to protect yourself. Moving right along. So I just grabbed a couple of things that you haven't seen that I've been buying yarn since November, which is like start of Black Friday. So I did purchase another one of these bags of yarn from Hersner's. Let me see if they, oh yeah, I can open this. So these are my favorite colors, browns and cream. Yeah, this was a piece. Before they put this stuff together, Cinepool, worsted eight, uh, worsted eight, Four hundred and forty-eight yards on this one, which is on all of them. Medium four, one hundred percent acrylic. Knit needle size of seven, crochet hook I, which is a nine. So you just put the colors together. They provide you with the colors. You know, make it easier for you to make a project. I don't remember how much this was. It was on sale. And I had additional coupons off as well. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cover up long and pretty project bag she gave me over there. You see my, yeah, right there. Okay, so let's move on to AC Moore, my last shop at AC Moore. I was looking at this bag and I thought about Angela. And she did her Joanne um, Yarn Haul from Yarn, uh, from Yarn Enormous. And she put her head in that plastic bag. I was cracking up. Uh, that video, if you haven't seen it, it's so funny. It's so funny. So, I brought a, I don't know if you can, I'm going to have to. I brought a bunch of Stitch Studio by Nicole, and I was thinking about doing a boho cardigan. This is before I advanced it in the one I showed you yesterday. And as I'm taking them out the back now, I don't think so. Oh, this stuff is full. And the reason why I don't think so, because I think it's just going to be too heavy. So it will make a nice blanket. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this bag noise is not bothering you too much. Stuff like that doesn't bother me because it's all a part of the enjoyment of of um washing washing yarn coming out of a bag. I asked Calvin to help me. I was like, I need help. He was like, I'm going downstairs. I have laundry to do. Yes, Calvin does laundry. So, <clears throat> everyone participates. Everyone cannot do 
the whole house by themselves. Not me. I used to, but can't do all that stuff by myself anymore. So he goes, I'm going downstairs. So I said to him, I said, you help do this stuff. You was at Joanne's with me too. <laughs> He said, yeah, I'm your partner in crime. I said, no, you're not if you're going downstairs. <laughs> Actually, I barred Calvin from the third floor because Calvin told me one day, I guess he didn't have anything to do. So he decided he was going to come upstairs and organize my yarn shelf. And I told him, was there nothing wrong with my yarn shelf? And he kept saying, yeah, if I, t I can turn the yarn around this way and you can have more space. And I kept saying no, and he kept pleading. And I said, just go. I don't care what you do. So he didn't realize how much yarn was on that shelf. And I think he ran out of gas <laughs> because the remaining part of the shelf, it looks like he just put that yarn up there and just came on downstairs. So I had to redo all three shelves. So I said he was banned from the third floor. Unless I need him to pick up boxes. So he was, he finally said, yeah, he didn't realize how much yarn was up there. Okay. This is Stitch Studio by Nicole. Heartfelt Heritage. You probably saying, why am I showing you this? We can't get that. Yes, you can. It's a young lady that sent me a link. And... My Surface Pro, as far as the email is concerned, after a while it takes it and puts it somewhere. But it doesn't put it in, in, in the trash. If I knew your name, I can automatically search for it and it would come up. And it would be easy if I made folders so that wouldn't happen to me. So if you're the lady who, young lady who sent me the link where the online, and I know the site, but I can't remember the site, that's selling uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole. Can you email me again? So um, I can let everybody know that site because Stitch Studio is still available. It's still available. Um, I know Denise uh, said she wanted to get some, some more of it. Mm -hmm. So let me just go over the spec I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. I purchased six of these. This is a super bulky. There's no way I'm making a boho cardigan out of this. Most likely, I'll do a crochet, a heavy blanket. Mm, this will be nice for a super scarf. We'll see. Let's do that. Let the yarn talk to me. The only thing I'm not pleased with it is 82 yards. I probably can get a hat out of it. If I loom knit it, I can check on that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crochet hook and knit needle is the same size. A 9 US 13. Mm -hmm. This is really pretty. What color is this? Candy apple. This is pretty. Really nice. Okay, I'm not going to try anymore before it all be on the floor. Mm -hmm. I just put it in my crate. I was um, taking my stitch studio, my basic stitches, my lion brand, and I was organizing those in the crate, get them out the plastic bag. And this went up in price two for seven. Yep. Yeah. And the next color is pewter pewter gray yeah so i also three four five six of these is six of these more than enough mm -hmm. six and of course i have to get the cream the off-white um antique white is called and six of these as well. This was a really good price. My special friend, um, she's up in Canada now. Um, she 
used to tell me all the time, get the gift, get the gift cards. And especially during the time where you buy 40 or $50 worth and they'll give you $10, a free $10 gift card. And why I would never do it. And, and then I told Calvin about, he said, why you don't do it? I said, I don't know. And then November, I finally, October, November, I finally caught the deal where they said, buy $50 gift card and you get $10. So then I had $60. This was on sale. Can't remember what the price was. I really can't, but this was on a, it was a good sale. And then I had military discount on top of that. Then I had $10 for that, um, membership they they had at ac more that the more money you spend they would send you ten dollar gift gift certificate and they had a ten dollars off 40 coupon and i failed to use that i didn't use that so I really got a good deal. I don't have my receipt, but I know it's downstairs somewhere. So with the uh, with the free twenty dollars I had, um, I think I had to add in another ten or fifteen dollars. So that is always smart. If you see those deals and you have money, you can buy the gift cards, and um, you can um, get the extra ten dollars. Um, I would suggest that you do that. I, I didn't do that for a long time and she would always send me emails that Michaels and, and um, AC Moore had them. And you just, just hold on to them until, that's what I did when I purchased mine. I knew I was going to go shopping during Black Friday. So I just held on to mine. So it came at a good time when um, I was able to, to um, purchase the gift cards. That's pretty right there. And that's pretty as well. Mm hmm So it's 24 all together. So I have a couple of ideas um, as far as color weight going. Whether it's by itself, two colors, three colors, or four colors. So that's the haul for today. It's more to come. If I don't have make a video tomorrow, um, I'll be back with Yarn Hall Part 3. I printed out some patterns that I thought was really nice. Why um yarn and bag? This is red heart. This is really nice. I like this. Well, that may be something you'd be interested in printing or making. It's classified as easy. Patriotic pillow. That's Boilo's yarn. You can find that at. This is, my, I don't know if this is one or, bear with me. Yeah, this is using a re-up yarn. If you have that, or just, you can just go with the sugar and cream or the Premier Homespun. This is Lion Brand Cluster Dish Tower. This is really nice. Mm-hmm. I just make one color. I never thought about breaking it up with the colors at the bottom. I think I'll do that. Give it more pizzazz. This also is another one by Lion Brand, a dish towel. I really like this. But this is knitting, but I still like it. I'm quite sure it can be mimic as far as crocheting. This also used the re-up. 
Lucy apron. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. It's the same with the re-up. Contrast cluster dish tower. See, I don't even think about doing this. Mm-hmm. Give me some good ideas. Just instead of, I usually just make them one color. Chevron table runner. Red heart. This is pretty. What did they use on this one? This is an intermediate. Oh, the scrubby smooth yarn. But that's pretty. Any yarn would go with that. Mm-hmm. I would use a cotton yarn as well. Mm -hmm. I think this is pretty. What are they calling this? They use the um, Cameron X Pentone Bamboo on this one. Fronting over fans, crochet shawl. Patriotic colors. A lot of tongue twisting words. Nancy dish cloth. This is Willow's as well. That doesn't look too exciting to me. Even though it's in the colors I like, it just looked drab. Mm -hmm. This is really pretty. I like this. Mm -hmm. I might have shown this before. The lacy crochet shawl. Sometimes this may be a tutorial because a lot of their patterns, they do do tutorials on them. This is intermediate. And this is 12 shawls in this package. Red Heart. So they have a lot of different things in here. The 12 different shawls. Look at this super scarf. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. I like the lookbooks they call. I know Premier does the lookbooks. Mostly, I know first, yeah, Premier normally do the lookbooks where they have a whole bunch of stuff in, in one package. And you can print it out. Although we in the dead of winter with um, summer weather here in New Jersey, and I know Michigan area and some other parts of the country there, having harsh weather but this is pretty this cover up this is really pretty mm -hmm. some things I print. so that's it but i don't know i think i have a, a crochet hook problem I went in a drawer to find something and well it was a in my crochet drawer. And I got these last year. I got every size. I ordered them from Amazon, but they were shipped from Hersness. Every size of the Susan Bates bamboo. Because sometimes, and I know I don't have them in here. Maybe. Sometimes, if you have just a metal hook, this is not good to show you, but the metal go all the way down here. Sometimes the rubbing, it irritates my hand. Not a lot. It may just happen twice a year. I don't know when it happens. I usually wipe down my crochet hooks. It's, it's so infragrant that... Um, it's not really an issue. But when it does happen, I'll switch to a bamboo uh, crochet handle. Because um, the bamboo is cool, so the friction is less. It doesn't happen that often, but that was the reason why I purchased this. And as you can see, 99% of these are still in the pack. But I was looking at just one bag, and I have several drawers and a container over there full of crochet hooks. So 
I was thinking being that most of the people love the Susan Boyd or the Clover. And I have packs of Clover. But uh, only time I use those is my yarn is split. I think they're trying to force Susan Bates out. That's one of the reasons why I keep buying crochet hooks. And especially a five. I just keep buying those. And if I have a coupon at Joann's and they don't have anything, I would definitely just run over there and buy five. So, what are you stacking up on? Do you have a problem like I do with crochet hooks or <laughs> knit needle? And I know we all stack up on y'all. So, I just wanted to share that with you. And I said, Penny, two drawers of needles in one case over there. You don't need to buy any more of that. But I think they're trying to push my girl out, Susan Bates. I really do. Because years ago, when you went in the store, that's basically all you saw in the um, 60s and 70s. I don't remember the 60s, so don't try to guess, guess my age. And I don't remember the 60s either. <laughs> okay, everyone. That's it. Oh, 26 minutes. That's good. Because yesterday I held you like 46 minutes. In my last video, I stood up the entire time. So this one is shorter and good. This actually looked really pretty in that case. Let me see if I can move this over. See, that looks really pretty. I might take this some of this downstairs with me today because I actually don't have a project and I don't feel like knitting today, especially not with heavy yarn. So I may make a couple of hats on the on the loom. I love loom knit. What craft I don't enjoy doing. Okay, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. The weather should be gorgeous. The next week the weatherman said we are not getting cold until next thursday so the heating bill should be going down and that means that it's more money in our pockets to do something else with all right enjoy your day thanks for watching thanks for participating thanks for the thumbs up it warms my heart bye